couple questions for you. One, um, after uh, Rashawn uh, was ejected from the game on Monday, how did that change, uh, you know, play calling and, and what did that increase your role? And, and can you kind of walk us through how it worked in terms of the, the play calling? Uh, I think the play calling uh, stayed the uh, same. Uh, Will stepped up, uh, David Long stepped up, and um, guys came in and made plays and uh, helped us get a, a good team win. Gotcha. Uh, other one I had for you was uh, past couple seasons, you guys have had a ton of uh, uh, big like goal line stands and fourth down stops. Um, when you look back at all those, uh, is there one that stands out for you uh, among maybe among the uh, the goal line stops? Well, uh, this past one, uh, there was a lot of a lot of great plays made on that on that stop. Uh, Will and Will and Jeff uh, Simmons got a got a great stop on uh, on Lindsey, and then for the for the fourth down shovel pass. Uh, Jeff made a, a, another great play to, you know, help keep uh, points off the board. So it's just overall great, great uh, team defense right there to help keep points off the board and uh, help us win the game. Thanks. Uh, Terry? Jay, uh, normally it's drowned out by fans, but were there any instances Monday night where you could actually hear the opposing quarterback audible and were you able to kind of react to that at the line of scrimmage? You can you can hear everything. Uh, there was some there was some crowd noise playing during the game, but it's not it's not it's not uh, as loud as when it's the stadium full of, of thousands, hundreds of thousands of fans, or however many they got. But um, it's, it's definitely a, a different feeling without without having the fans there. But uh, you know, each each side, I'm pretty sure uh, every guy on that field loves football, and it's a, it's an event. I'll, I'll say it's a. A little bit of an advantage being able to hear everything, but then again, it, it can be. It, it was just a good time out there overall. Uh, Teresa, uh, Jayon, how much does it help uh, having seen Gardner Minshew and, and played against him? And, and what what are the challenges of having to you know try to contain him? Uh, he's very very athletic quarterback. Yet he, he played a really good game last week against the Colts, and uh, their whole offense did. And um, you know they got they got real talent all around all around the board, uh, board. Really nice old line, good backs, very talented receivers. So they have a complete offense, and we're gonna have to come with it this week when we uh, play on Sunday. Uh, Chris Harris. Yeah, Jan. Along those lines, Mike Vrabel earlier uh, this week called Gardner uh, just just a leader, and by what he does, now he leads that team. What what do you see specifically from him that allows like, the guys to to rally around him and how he commands that offense? Um, he's, he's he seems like a real vocal guy. Um, just you know, people believe in him. Uh, he, he's he's won them uh, a few games now, and you know, with with them. I think he, I think he had a, a really good uh, completion rating, and uh, they didn't turn the ball over. So he's he's doing really good uh, from from like without preseason games, and so you know we'll see what happens on uh, Sunday. Uh, Paul, hey Jayon, um, with you and Rashawn Clowney and Simmons, and and once Vix in there. You think you guys up front are as fast as anybody in the league? Well, uh, you know, it's pro football and everybody, I'll say, uh, from each team has about the same, same talent level. So it just comes down to execution, but, uh, you know, having, having guys like Vic and, uh, and JD definitely, definitely help and Harold as well. So we just got to, we just got to execute our, our assignments and, uh, and just play ball. Uh, 